all. No, right? it's not. I mean, it was a wild week one for the NFL. I mean, the Chiefs losing, the Bills losing, the Bengals losing. What is going on here? Giants, the Giants. Oh, we don't care about them. <laughs> so, <laughs> not a Giants fan, folks. So here's a look at our satellite and radar composite where, uh, as you can see, we are starting to see a little more sunshine out there. That is great news. Of course, some of these clouds eroding away from the west as well. So look at that. More blue sky now in Hartford where temperatures are around 76 degrees. It is 72 in Torrington, 77 in Bridgeport, 79 in New Haven, about 77 in New London. So temperature wise, it wouldn't be too bad if this humidity would come down a little bit. Now it's not not as bad as it was last week. We're not seeing widespread 70s here, but we do have mid to upper 60s and yes, a few lower 70s. So you're feeling it as soon as you step out the door. Here's our hour by hour forecast showing you mostly dry conditions through this afternoon, but an occasional splash of green does pop up indicating that two in 10 chance of an isolated thunder shower. But again, most of us will stay dry, so keep your outdoor plans. At overnight, the clouds will turn and look at tomorrow morning. Even though if you're stepping out early, say six or seven o'clock, you may not need an umbrella make sure you do grab one because by eight or nine o'clock we are going to be watching some showers and thunderstorms move in from the west. So passing showers and storms tomorrow morning and then more spotty thunder showers popping up during the afternoon. So Wednesday's not looking like a great day. It's going to be pretty soggy and the ground is already pretty soggy after all the rain we picked up not only this weekend but even yesterday those very slow moving storms. We had that on Friday as well. So the ground is super saturated. Let's talk about Hurricane Lee still a major category three hurricane with wind sustained at 115 miles per hour. I was wondering if it was going to drop back to a strong category two at the latest update because that eye wall is filling in a little bit, but it is possible it may be, may be undergoing eye wall replacement, although it is expected to weaken over the next 24 to 48 hours. Let's show you the latest track and you can see there you go dropping to a category two by Thursday morning may happen even before that, but as it starts to move into cooler water, it is gradually going to weaken down to a category one hurricane as it makes the approach to the northeast. Now look at this latest forecast cone here. This is Saturday morning and you can see it's still expected to head towards the Canadian Maritimes, possibly towards Nova Scotia, but just the very outer edge of the Cape and the islands still within that forecast cone. So what we don't want to see is the center of the storm take a little bit of a jog to the west because that would certainly be more impactful for Maine for Massachusetts for Rhode Island and even for us here in Connecticut at this point I would anticipate some clouds on Saturday possibly some outer rain bands and some gusty winds I would say upwards of 20 30 maybe even as high as 40 miles per hour that's what I pre would prepare for now but if it takes a jog to the east well, that'll certainly change. So lots to still work with over the coming days. Here's a look at your eight day shoreline forecast where we're looking at showers and storms for Wednesday, but getting into Thursday and Friday, a pair of beautiful days there. Not only we'll see a decent amount of sunshine, temperatures will be comfortable. The humidity is finally going to come down. Then we jump into Saturday where Lee will be offshore. And again, we'll get the latest update from the Hurricane Center at five o'clock and we'll see where that latest forecast cone is. Hoping it goes east. Just keep going east. Yeah, east would be nice. <laughs>